And your family, obviously, I, mean, I assume, obviously, must be very happy with the changes you've made. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, not, they haven't seen me in a while. I've been, I've been living in, in Atlanta with Dallas, DDP, um, working my butt off, getting, getting in shape, and uh, getting back at it. All right, so you're in Atlanta. You're working with Diamond Dallas Page. You you live in Alabama. Dallas lives in in Georgia. So you're a little bit away. You're spending a lot of time with him. He obviously has played a big part in your resurrection, kind of like the resurrection oh. of Jake the Snake. Now it's the resurrection of Eric Scott Esch and Butterbean. But what what was the catalyst that got you from overweight, near death, and depressed to changing your journey? What happened? You know, I just got to the point. I said, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose weight one way or another. If I gotta starve myself, and I mean, I started, and then you know, we were doing the podcast at Dallas on. He called me up. You know, we worked out a diet plan. I stuck with it. And I, I, I was just, I was willing to try anything I could just, just to be able to walk. And if, if yoga and doing the ballet stuff was gonna work, I was gonna try it. I was gonna try anything, but it's, it's not like you think. DDPY yoga is not like people think yoga is. Because you talked to me five years ago about doing it, and I said, I ain't doing yoga. Dude, I rode but your I ass for years. years. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a life fitness program for sure. And and when you're in uh when you're in DDP's clutches, it's uh it, it's part head game too, but big part head game, but in a good way. He'll he'll remake the whole of you. And, and I know as part of that, you you started your journey with Diamond Dallas Page as part of a reality show. Are we allowed to talk about that here? I'm not even sure. It's called Change or Die. There was five of us. Uh, Some of us ended up doing really good at it. Some of us done great until they left and got back on their own. I'm not about but yeah, I mean, if you're willing to do something, you have if you have discipline to doing something, you accomplish anything. And that's that's why I decided I wanted to have one last fight. All right. Now now people are going, what the fuck? What did he just say? All right. Because that's the first mention of that. Now, look, you and I talk all the time, so I can't pretend I'm surprised. I, I know the drill. But let's think about this, man. Your your descent into hell, if you will, is pretty well chronicled. Pe- people know. I was there. People know how low you went, and now they're going. He's gonna fight. What? Um, first of all, so you're you're about two hundred and ninety-five pounds now. Is that right? Two ninety-five. All right. How old are you? Fifty-seven. I've never. Okay. First of all, the lowest pant size pant size I've ever been in is a forty-four, and they were really tight. And I got into them for a week. And after that week, I never seen a 44 again. And you went up to how what? How how big? For a while, up to a 68, okay. but never a 44. Right now, and I'm wearing true. a 42, and they're loose. I'm gonna have to get a 40. That's nuts, man! Wow, you're gonna be like um, you're gonna be like a model for Levi's before we know it. That's that's gonna be your that. next. Well, I personally haven't tried the yoga, and I, I'm definitely going to get a diamond and try it out. I mean, it's got to help. It's got to. I mean, it's better than doing nothing. Um, I need to be able to, be able to move around again, and I, I'm not able to right now. I guess. I, I mean, like, what's what's the the the? I I, I guess I'm not. You know, I, what I'm trying to, is like, I can't like, give it to you right now. Come, I can't give it to you right now. But by the end of this this week coming up, not this week, but next week. I'll be able to give it to you. And then, uh, again, Nadia runs the whole deal as far as getting everybody set up to get interviewed and all that shit. But you got to want it more than anything, bro. And you got to – it's change or die. How old are you now, Butterbean? I'm 55. Like I said, I can't walk more than four or five steps right now without cane or crutches. Again. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm needing – I mean, I need something. Yeah. Well, that would be a great turnaround story. But again, you know, you have to understand how I do shit, man. You've been a big guy your whole life, though. You know, from what I've seen, you had to be over oh, three hundred pounds. Been 
Yeah, you never. So, yeah. It ain't about getting small. It's about getting you healthier and be able to move. But you also put all that weight and all that shit in your knees and your back and your hips and your shoulders, like you know. You know, again, I don't do the casting part of it. But it would be pretty amazing if you were there. 